Machine learning models deployed today impact people and society directly, as will many more in the future. This puts a lot of responsibility into the hands of the data scientists and machine learning engineers. It would be pointless if we establish a culture in companies and society that all people must have the same opportunities, but then delegate our decisions to an AI that has a racist or sexist bias. And this is not a problem that might arise in the future. Large companies already work on AI-based recruiting systems to process the large amount of applications more efficiently. Amazon was already involved in a major scandal. But before we investigate this case, let's find out how an AI becomes racist or sexist in the first place. Welcome to the Inner Machinations channel. If you are interested in AI or other related topics, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Up to this point, an AI has no moral or political agenda. Whether a person is old, young, black, white, male or female, doesn't matter. An AI isn't even aware what these things are. These are just variables in a mathematical model. The only thing that is important is the correlation between these attributes and the target variable. A target can be, for example, a score that rates an application for a vacant job. And here's where bias can occur. Let's say that a company has tracked all of its employees and can assign a score to each one that represent his job performance. Now an AI is trained with this data and is used to determine the best applicant for a vacant job. Even though large companies have a large number of employees, it's not like they have infinite data points. By using a small sample size, there are usual problems that occur in any small sample size experiment. And the AI will recognize variances that are due to various inaccuracies as patterns. But even with a large sample size, the result will never be that there is no correlation between age, gender or ethnicity and the output. The AI can detect a correlation, but it cannot decide between correlation and causation. And this is the problem. Correlations occur very frequently and simply state that there is a statistical relationship between two variables. But a statistical correlation does not automatically mean a causation. If this was the case, it should be perfectly proven that climate change is due to the decline of piracy. This chart shows the correlation and proves that a reduction of CO2 emissions and planting trees won't be effective as long as we don't have a large number of buccaneers sailing on the oceans. Sounds logical, right? Of course, this correlation is a clever example and easy for everyone to debunk. But oftentimes it is not that obvious. Especially because when using AI, we often don't even know which attributes are most important. In one case, an AI was supposed to decide whether customers of a large bank would be approved for a loan. But for the AI, the most important attribute was the place of residence. It was almost impossible for people from certain districts of the city to get a loan. Such an AI application leads to structural exclusion and even if the place of residence or skin color correlates strongly with education and economic power, this says nothing about the qualification of an individual. In every age, gender and ethnicity, there are people who would be perfect for a job or a loan. But if these people are sorted out because of their characteristics, this is not only unfair, but also harms the companies that use systems like this, since they systematically exclude well-qualified customers or applicants. It is no surprise that Amazon is one of the first companies to use AI in their recruiting process. If you look at the rapid development of employee numbers, it is obvious that the recruiting of 300,000 employees in one year is a gigantic challenge. Part of the company's success is to automate as much as possible. And if you have to hire so many people, then you can at least save employees who are needed for this recruiting process. Therefore, back in 2014, the company began developing its own programs to facilitate the screening of applicants. Ironically, the AI was programmed to give each applicant a score from 1 to 5, comparable to the 5 star rating system for products on Amazon. The data that was used as a training material for the AI came from hiring processes conducted at Amazon that were up to 10 years old. Since Amazon, as a tech company, had significantly more mail supply during that time, 
they were also given preference by the AI. Although the AI didn't know exactly whether somebody was male or female, it gave particularly poor ratings to applications in which the word women appear. For example, in the case of women who wrote that they were on a women's college or part of a women's sports team. Due to public pressure, Amazon had to abandon this project and also denies that this system was actually used as a criterion for hiring. Amazon won't be the last company to make attempts in this direction. And with the goal of selecting the absolute best possible personnel, the incentive to develop further models is a big one. So should AI systems be banned in these areas? In my opinion, definitely not. Humans are inherently burdened with their own biases and even if it's difficult to figure out how an AI made a certain decision, it is at least possible. But you can't tell why a person made a certain decision. Sometimes you can't even tell why you made your own decisions. Let's take the hiring example again. There are certainly vacant jobs where you will get more good applications from either women or men, or young and old people. Men and women, old and young people are just not the same, and a company has the task to select the best ones. However, even if there are more qualified men, this doesn't mean that the absolute best person for the job can't be a woman. Therefore, it would be a good approach not to measure characteristics such as age, gender and ethnicity, and instead to rely exclusively on new measurements such as recruitment test results. However, this requires complete understanding of the system. The Amazon example has shown that AI can infer gender from other characteristics as well. It is therefore important to create a system that assess people only based on their abilities and not on other characteristics that are not important for the job. Of course, this increases the effort required, but I think it will be worth it. And in the end, I think there are some very important soft skills that an AI simply can't evaluate. So the final decision should be made by human anyways. What do you think about this topic? Thank you for watching this video. See you all soon.